Hi, today I'm going to show you how to search for and borrow books at the Internet Archive. To get started, go to archive.org on a browser of your choosing. I'm using Firefox. Though you can use many of the Internet Archive's features without signing up for a free account, you do need one to borrow books. So let's sign up. Just click Sign Up in the upper right-hand corner. Enter an email address, screen name, and password, and opt in or out of the Internet Archive's emails as you choose. After you press the Sign Up button, you'll receive an email with a verification link. Click on it, and it will open a new window at the Internet Archive telling you that you have been successfully verified and asking you to log in with your email and password. You can browse all the various collections of texts and individual titles by clicking here. And you can further refine your browsing with limiters such as media type, availability, year of publication, topics and subjects, collections, creator, and language of publication. Click on More to see additional facets to choose from. In this case, more publication languages. To see what items are inside a particular collection, simply click on it. If you know what you're looking for, though, you can use the search function. In addition to basic metadata searches, you can also search within the content of texts. Let's try a content search just to see. I'm going to search within the content of texts for the name of author Arundhati Roy. As we can see, the Internet Archive returns everything it has in which she is mentioned, as well as the books of hers that it holds. If you're looking for a particular title or works by a particular author, though, a basic metadata search is probably the best way to go. There are advanced search options which will allow you to run a search using more complex queries if you need them, but let's see what happens using the metadata search. I'm going to look for Bell Hooks' book Reel to Reel, so I'll search for the title along with her name because there might be other texts with the same name or a similar title. And there it is. Let's take a look. Now, because we have an account, we can borrow this book using controlled digital lending. The Internet Archive has two lending periods, one hour and 14 days. If you find a book that can only be checked out for an hour, that means only one copy is available. And if all copies of a book are in use, you will be prompted to join the waiting list with a button. This is what that looks like. When it is available to you, the Internet Archive will send an email to the address on your account. Our title, Reel to Reel, is available though, so let's check it out for the full 14 days. Okay, now we have access to this item. We can use these controls to toggle full screen if we want or to zoom in and out. There's also a read this book aloud feature, which sounds like this. Bell hooks reel to reel race, class and sex at the movies. And we have options in terms of page layout. We can do a thumbnail view, a two page view, which is the default and a large one-page view. To page through the book, we can either use these arrows or the slider. We can also search within the text. I'll just search for the filmmaker Julie Dash. And there are all the instances in which she is mentioned in the book. We can also add bookmarks. I'll put one there. We can make visual adjustments as well, like that. And we can share this resource on social media or wherever else we desire. There's also a button here that will take you to the online bookseller Better World Books in case you're interested in purchasing a new or used print copy of this book. If we scroll down, we can see the bibliographic and other information on the left. Further down, there's a space for user reviews. If there are any, there aren't any here. And a list of similar items based on the book's metadata can be found at the bottom. Coming back up, there are boxes to let you know which user uploaded this item and what collections it's included in. There's another link to Better World Books and a counter for the number of times the book has been previewed and favorited. There are also buttons for flagging an item if it violates the Internet Archive's terms of service, uh, another button for sharing, uh, and a button for favoriting an item. Favorited items go into a collection that is part of every user account. Most importantly, though, download options. So obviously we can read the text here within the browser, but we can also download a PDF of the complete scan or an EPUB version of it to read on an e-reader or other device. 
and in many cases, including this one, a DAISY format of the book is also available for print disabled readers. To download and read books from the Lending Library offline, you will need to download Adobe Digital Editions. I won't go through this application in its entirety, that's another instructional video in and of itself. Additionally, steps here will vary based on operating systems, devices, and preferences. That being said, I'm including links to both the Adobe Digital Editions site and the Internet Archives page on borrowing from the Lending Library in the video description below. These should answer any questions you might have about the application and requirements for reading text from the Internet Archive on your device or devices. Some additional things to note. You can always see your loans by clicking on your username here and selecting My Loans. You can also see what waiting lists you're on here, as well as the history of your borrowing here. All users are limited to borrowing 10 books at a time. When a loan expires, you don't have to do anything. The book is automatically returned and downloaded versions will cease to function. You can return a book early if you choose, however. Just click the return button on a borrowed item, like this. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or run into any trouble, please visit the Internet Archive's help page at help.archive.org.